Just a quick rundown. Uh, I'm soldering uh, a bit on these A123 batteries. Uh, I've used a uh, little bit of this uh, flux and applied it on the uh, on the joint I have. And I've got a, a little uh, electric soldering iron I have, little Ryobi, and a little uh, gas torch I am. And uh, what it does is actually uh, you've got to put a lot of heat into it very, very quickly. And uh, yeah, to get the actual solder, lead solder to run, it's just basically just your plain uh, resin core solder. Uh, I've got both hands full, so I'm just going to pause this for a bit. Alright, I'll get back into it. Just got the soldering iron hot. I'll put a fair bit of solder on the torch. I have, and so I've got a big lump. I have now. What we'll do is a little propane torch, and we'll get it so hot very, very quickly. Torch it stay light, but uh, yeah, we can actually get the solder to actually stick to it. We will. A bit more solder on our soldering iron, a bit more, more lump. We have right, oh, it's not actually taken to the other piece yet. But as soon as we get it up, it'll probably start running. We will. It's actually running now. That is. And that gives you enough to solder more wires to it electrically. Yeah, otherwise it won't stick to it. Right now, we're going to do the other one now. We'll do the same thing. We'll put some solder on the soldering iron. We will. Like so. A big dollop. We'll seem to want to freeze the lead as the heat takes it away, but what we're trying to do is get enough heat in this. Like so. And there it is, all running in. We'll add a bit more solder. We will. The iron just hasn't got enough heat left in it, it nearly solidifies itself. We'll put another heap of lead solder on this. Right, you can see there it's not even taken, but as soon as we get the heat into it, we'll get it to run. There it is there, you can actually see it running now. Yeah, so that's all, all tinned up, all done and dusted.